And good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm loud. I don't know why. Okay, let me come down. Okay, bring it down. Nice. All right, here you go. Good. <laughs> right, good morning, everybody. Uh, see, we have nothing um, on the economic uh, on the economic outlook today. No, nothing really significant scheduled. Um, however, we uh, in the news there is you know headlines about the U.S. Um, China trade talks. Um, so, like, uh, I will be watching for, um, you know, like any Trump tweets or any uh, headlines related to Trump and, and you know, these trade negotiations. Um, anywhere where you see Trump, you know, that, you know, Trump, uh, all it takes is a, a tweet from Trump to, you know, make the markets go, uh, you know, go haywire. So, all right, let's go ahead and move over to the charts and let's uh, get our pre-market uh, analysis going all right um so across the board today there's a lot of bears out there um i think pretty much everything is red there's uh you know how they say blood in the streets um volume is looking uh, a little light today you know uh relative to you know the previous couple of weeks but it is it is the last trading day of the month so you know, um, that, that is expected to have a little uh, lighter, you know, trading today. Um, looking at the NASDAQ, um, you see we got a lot of bears coming in, uh, in here. And then you're going to draw it down. We uh, currently down 0.42%. So, you know, that's pretty significant. Um, and this is the pullback that I was, you know, that I mentioned yesterday or in the day before that you know we've you know we had such a um strong day on wednesday you know that some pullback definitely makes sense i, I definitely expect to see some retrace retracement here before we continue higher if we continue higher um what i will um like again what i would say is all right so i would be expecting you know some rollover um that price could come into the um to where the, the the 9 AMA on the daily chart and the price, you know, they I, I would expect them to uh, have a little meeting with each other, and then you know if we bounce off of there, we can continue higher. Um, maybe something like back in here, uh, back in this time frame, uh, like in April, even here. Uh, but I would, you know, I'm thinking I will use this as more of a reference. Um, let's see. I'm just looking left to see um, if we have anything, a time frame that looks similar to what we're what we're experiencing now. The only thing that looks kind of similar, I will say, is this area back here in 2015. This is a weekly chart. Let me go ahead and bring that up. So you see how we uh, had the first little drop down, came back up, retested those highs. Um, you know, got rejected at the at the new uh, once we uh, hit new all time highs and came back down. It looked bearish. Gave you know everybody a scare. Everybody thought it was the you know the end of the world was in this area here and and everything was going to go to zero but of course not you know and if it did go to zero or close to zero or you know continue going down of course it's not going to go we're not going to drop straight down like that you know what i mean even though everybody seems to be you know that a lot of people seem to be you know scared of something like that happening um it would you know have some you know some action more like that if we do you know continue to go bearish on on uh, for a situation like that um but anyway any rate you know it's not exactly the same but that's a good area to reference back here in uh between 2015 and 2016 um it's pretty you know it's like a what we're experiencing now is like a, a a bigger version but if you look at the weekly what is interesting for the nasdaq is we have this uh tweezer bottom action um you know and this is the last day of this week um you know, usually, you know, you see here, you had a tweezer bottom there. 
um, a tweezer bottom here you know so we can definitely turn around we definitely um, have a lot of signals that we're going to turn around back bullish you know at least uh, short term um, where something you know major happens uh, on the monthly you see a lot of indecision for this month they this candle will whatever happens today will determine what this candle ends up looking like so so far today in the Nasdaq we're, we're bearish right um, now let's go move on to gold I don't think that changed so yet and you know same pretty much the same for gold we're bearish still it looks really choppy even though we got this nice little uh, drop here let's just say the last move right there was three points so you know that's um, that's a pretty significant move um, zooming out oh this is the no it's five minutes okay zooming out um, I forgot I was, I was supposed to so we still I don't see a lot of excitement with uh, with gold today or you know anytime soon um, yeah I'm, I'm not saying anything super excited with gold so so far right, right now we're bearish really light on volume uh, moving over to crude oil um, all right so we're on the daily we're forming some pretty decent support here at the 50 50 area um, it looks like we're at this today we're trying to of course we got bears here today um, currently down um, 57 ticks uh, it's half a point which is pretty significant for crude oil um, so like we're trying to with that area with that uh, support has been has been formed it looks like we're trying to push be, uh, below that support um, if we do of course what I would expect what I would what I'll be looking for is a break below and then a retest and then we keep going lower um, however crude oil does have the tendency usually not when it's not when it's this extended so crude oil has the tendency to just you know like have super big moves and you know in a matter of minutes um, which is one thing why I like why I like crude oil because you know you usually don't have to wait too long to, to know if you're going to have a successful trade or not you know that that move it can happen you know I've made you know money with crude oil um, like in a matter of seconds you know I, I put place the order in it, it has its pop and then I get filled at my target and I'm in and out of the trade you know that's one of the things I like about crude oil I'm on the other side of that it can go against you as well but you know that's the game but uh, anyway, so so this area right here, the 50, I say 50-50, 50-50, uh, the 50-50 area is a, a key area of interest. Um, if we break that area and retest it or whatever, we can keep going lower. Um, it looks like it wanna, we're seeing a lot of you know resistance to keep going lower, so we could be bouncing here. And since at this time, I would definitely expect it to um not just you know break straight down down bearish continue to go bearish i would expect some rest since we already had you know a significant move bearish um all right so overall you know as of right now we're still looking bearish with a possibility to turn over bullish or you know take a rest into the weekend and lastly the euro um uh, pretty much the same thing um you see where you know this is that this area of support here is pretty strong so every time we go down here uh, every time we have a, a bearish move we, we bounce back pretty strong for you know as of today so you know we also bearish here so pretty bears all across the board um, of course the only thing I'll be looking to trade is the Nasdaq um, yeah that's my takeaway going into the market um, I hope this. I hope the uh, the what I'm 
the information you know i hope my analysis uh helps you guys um i hope it can help me today <laughs> you know have some uh better trades it's really you know i can do this technical analysis all day and come up with you know and my strategy can um uh, it works it's just you know my mentality is that's that's the thing i gotta focus on i gotta you know make sure i'm not over managing trades and and taking you know the, uh, good setups when I see them so and you know being focused so you know that'd be my focus for today is to be focused and to uh, not mentally get in my own way and I hope the rest of you guys y'all hope you all go out there and crush it and I will see y'all around lunchtime for the mid-market recap